Hey everyone, it's Sarah here. I am so happy to be back today to share another process video with you. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so today I'm gonna be sharing a process and also talking a little bit about what I've been doing with my whole memory keeping process for the last couple of months. Um, Cause I've kind of been switching it up a little bit, even though it is late in the year, I feel like this is such a crazy year anyway. So why not do something a little bit different? Nothing is set in stone, right? So um, lately I have been kind of gravitating towards my traveler's notebooks. I'm still working in pocket pages, just kind of here and there. Every once in a while I will put together a spread, but I've really been enjoying telling all of our family stories in traveler's notebooks. So this was my August notebook. I used a Felicity Jane insert, which if you're not familiar, um, these inserts have really beautiful white, crisp white pages that are just really, they're not thick, but it's a really good quality paper. So ink doesn't run through there. They are my favorite blank notebooks that I use. Um, so that's what I used for August. And then I took some Studio Calico pattern papers from old notebooks. Um, so when I receive a Studio Calico notebook, I typically take it apart right away. I will remove the staples, use whatever pages I need to, and then I will put all the extra pages in a basket and then grab for them whenever I'm working in my notebook or in my Citrus Twist. Um, life crafted album which has the same page protector size as the traveler's notebooks and so that's what I did here it's kind of a combination of um, those pattern papers from the studio calico notebooks and other pages where I just did a bunch of stamping and adding washi tape and embellishments and all of that so this was a really fun kind of way to work through August. Definitely takes a little bit more time, I think for me personally to put together pages just because it's starting with a blank canvas every single time. Um, but it's still really fun to kind of work through it. So this page here is actually one that I did in a Studio Calico notebook. It was one of my creative team assignments for I think September. And so I just removed it from that notebook and adhered it into this one. Uh, the one issue that I did run into as I was working through this is it got really thick really fast because I was adding in those full pages. So my notebook did come apart. I'm going to have to grab a long arm stapler to kind of fix that. But that was kind of the one downside. Other than that, I really enjoyed the process of working through that. It's been a couple of years since I actually did kind of a project life format for a notebook. Um, Normally I just kind of tie different stories together. I have different pages for different projects, but it was fun kind of going back to this and, and doing this type of notebook again. But for September, I am changing gears again. I am going to go ahead and work in my Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook um, for the month of September. So what I did here is I went ahead and printed out a bunch of photos. When I started working in this notebook, it was already towards the end of September. So I had a lot of my photos that I could just print in one go. So I went ahead and did that. And then I added post-it notes to the different pages so I could remember what stories I wanted to tell where. And that way if my photos fell out of my notebook, which they definitely did, then I wasn't you know, completely lost at what was going on each page. So those are really helpful. And then I could also see kind of where the gaps were in my notebook and where I could fill in with different stories. But things are definitely out of order in this notebook. Um, it's not super important to me that I have everything in the order that the events happened. As long as it happened within that month, I feel like when I look back on this in the future, it's not its not really gonna matter to me. Um, and I really like working off of color schemes and kind of pairing the photos to the patterns and the colors on the page. That just really helps with my process. So that is kind of my thought process behind this. I have done complete notebooks in the past. It's been a while, um, but I thought I would just give it a go, try it out again, and 
uh, see how this comes together. And I'll be sharing some more process videos this month showing how I put together some other pages. But right now I just wanted to give you a quick look at the October uh, notebook kit from Studio Calico. Not quite sure when this video is going to be going up on my channel, but I wanted to just share this with you. These kits this month had some of my favorite washi tapes, that yellow kind of floral just reminds me so much of a Maggie Holmes floral and I love the mustard yellow. So I will be tying that in here. I thought it paired really well with that dark green. Um, and then I also loved these diamond shapes. I thought they were really fun for creating um, a pattern on the page. So I'm playing around with those right now, figuring out what I wanna do. I didn't want the diamonds to overpower the entire layout, but I did want to include them. So I'm gonna have them running off the sides of the pages and just kind of have them stacked along the corners. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a strip of washi tape here underneath my photo. I didn't want it to be too loud on the page. So a lot of times when I'm trying to just incorporate a little bit of the washi color, but I don't want it to stand out too much, I'll go ahead and put it like halfway under my photo. And then here I'm even gonna cover it up more. I'm gonna add my title on top of it. And that way I just have a little bit of the mustard and a little bit of the bright pink kind of coming out there, but it's not too much pattern going on with everything else that is on the page. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out what colors and what um, patterns I want on these diamonds. And then I'm just gonna adhere them down. These two photos that I'm working with here are of DIY projects that I put together for the fall slash Halloween. I've been working on more DIY since we've been at home so much lately and just trying to get into the festive spirit. I'm really excited about the holidays coming up and after a really tough year, I just feel like it's nice to have something fun to look forward to. So. Doing these DIY projects has definitely been a fun activity for me, especially since we can't really go anywhere and uh, we're just, we're at home so much. So I wanted my title to be, I think this is home, it ends up being my title. So I'm spelling out home with the gray alphas. And at first I thought I didn't have enough of these gray alphas, but I realized that these alphas actually came in the documenter kit too, so I would have had enough if I cheated and brought those in, but I didn't realize that. So I'm going into my color theory alphas. This, this one that I'm choosing, I think it's pink lemonade, and that worked out perfectly because it tied in the pink. Uh, from the other areas on the spread. But if you're not familiar, Studio Calico started a new subscription this year. It's their color theory subscription and they have a bunch of basics. So alphas and labels and chipboards and you get a single type of embellishment in all of their color theory colors. And I feel like this is one of those subscriptions that I may have passed on initially, but since getting it, I cannot tell you how handy it's been to have it. I am constantly grabbing for these things. Uh, I'm always grabbing for the alphas, always grabbing for the labels. It's just, I guess it's one of those things that you don't realize how convenient it is until you actually have it. But these have been so great. I've been able to spell out so many titles and kind of fill in gaps here and there, and it's just been really awesome. So I love those. And I also added in some of the free stickers there. I love that color combination, the red typography on the pink. It's just really pretty, one of my favorite color combos. So I wanted to get those on there. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of stamping here. This uh, ink, cleaning pad is courtesy of my sister. I have my sister to thank for this whole process here, um, but it is a Stampin' Up stamp chamois, and I love how thick it is because I can just press my stamp in there, wiggle it around, and I'm good to go. It's completely clean, so I love that. And then I'm using a, it's one of those Recollections photo storage boxes from Michaels. 
Uh, I just store it in there and that keeps it nice and moist while I'm working on my project. I even store my stamping blocks in here so I never have to look for them and it's just a perfect kind of solution. This thing definitely changed my crafty game for me so I have my sister to thank like I said and it's just been awesome. been using that particular stamp chamois for almost a year now and I haven't had to replace it so it has held up very nicely. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my text strips here and that is gonna finish off the layout. I think I'm gonna finish up my diamond patterns. I just wanted to kind of complete the line of diamonds. So I'm gonna add in one more on each side. And then this is going to finish off the page. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how this layout came together. I have a few more videos that I filmed for this month, so check back for those. I have more process uh, videos working in this notebook and some other really fun stuff coming up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.